Hi there, this is Manfred from pluginsforpros.com. In this video I'll show you how you can use the Google Forms control plugin and I'll start by creating a form in Google Docs. So I go to the Documents tab and create a form. And here we can set the title and the description for the form. So we'll just have a hair. Sport car quiz. Let me know your favorite. So we're going to ask for the name. And it's just a simple text question. And we have it as a required question. And then question two, we edit it. And we ask for the email, also a text, also required. We need to add one more. And we make this to a list question. And we ask for favorite sport car. And the option is Porsche, Corvette. Mustang or Maserati. Right, and we want to have an answer to that one as well. So now we've created a very simple quiz here. You can see here, down here, it's a link. You can view the published form here. So we try that. We preview the form. And it looks like this. Very simple, very clean. Now the thing we want to do is include this quiz in our WordPress. So let's see here in the WordPress blog. First we create uh, one page that is the thank you page for the form. So after the visitor fills in the form they will be redirected to the thank you page. So we will create that one. We add a new page. Thank you. And we say thank you for letting me know about your favorite sport car. And we exclude the page because we don't want it in the menu. So we exclude it here. And for that you can use a uh, simple plugin that's free, it's called Exclude Pages. So just remove the check mark here and it will not show up on the list of pages. And we publish it. And as you can see we've got a URL here. So let's keep that one in memory. And we go to create one more page. This is where we will actually embed the quiz sport car and now we want to embed the quiz here so we'll take this one here and click on the button for the G form for the Google form and it asks for the form URL that one we can get from here We just copy paste and when you paste it here it's important that you paste it as text so if it's if it looks like a hyperlink uh, you have to make sure you remove the link so it should look just like that and then the target URL should be the thank you page now I have to go look here again what's the URL to that page the thank you page it's this URL here. So we copy that one and paste into the target URL. And this one also has to be, the hyperlink has to be removed, so we remove it like this. And then there's default setting for width and height. So we can just leave it as it is, or we can set the uh, width to a lesser value. And then we publish it. Uh, 
And then when we view the page, you can see it loads the quiz in a frame here. Sport car quiz. And it's, it doesn't only embed it, it actually uh, forwards all the post information back and forth to Google Form. So if someone visits the site and they submit it without filling in all the required information, you will get the reply from Google. It looks like this. So you have to actually fill, fill in the information here. And we select uh, Mustang and submit. And it redirects to the page we set as a thank you page. And then we can go into the sport car quiz. We can have a look. And we can see we got a reply here. This is the one I just uh, answered the quiz. So this is a good way to collect name, emails, um, any kind of information with a simple quiz or a simple survey and keep it all in Google and you can have a custom thank you page as well. And everything is done from inside of WordPress using a simple uh, plugin, the GForm Control plugin. That's all. Thank you very much for listening.